in these bits and pieces, the first the paper, then the thesis, then the rewrite, then the, the two other editions, because I kept thinking, well, I became the go-to guy. So once the initial thing went, people started coming to me. So opportunities for lectures, opportunities. So they, people, people were hungry not just myself. So there were reasons for me to keep returning to it and look at it from different angles, slightly, that's what the, it's always a slightly different angle, certain, some more material I didn't have before. So I kept reworking it. And that kind of became the basis for the later versions of um, Black Pioneers and White Denomination. And meanwhile, I was on the UUA um, curriculum identity team. Uh, Betty and Assis was the staff and I did the, the curriculum how open the door and so there was another chance to work through the material and in that process we actually made a decision as a group that rather than just have a black curricula we would have it in all the curricula so journeys through time stepping stone year we always would have some we'd introduce stories of Lewis Latimer or I think an, another, Earl Collymore. So we decided we would spread it through rather than treating just something special. So I was working with it pretty constantly through those early years.